This demonstration shows how to create labels for fulfillment by Amazon on cheap 4x6 labels, like the thermal labels that UPS and FedEx give away for free. After printing, you can cut the 4x6 forms up into six small labels with a paper cutter. The finished Word template file is available at the site shown on screen. On the site, look under Barcodes, Amazon. As far as Amazon's requirements go, their specifications are not fussy. Quarter inch white margins on the sides, one eighth margins on the top and bottom. Barcodes with ASIN, description condition. That's it. Here I'll make labels one inch high and two and a half inches wide, but Amazon's specifications do allow labels between one by two minimum and two by three max. Illustration isn't Amazon approved but I have copied the layout of some labels from Amazon's label maker. A version of this template is regularly used to generate barcodes that are sent to FBA and Amazon has never rejected them or complained. Still, your mileage may vary, so... This demonstration is provided for educational purposes only. We accept no responsibility for the use of any information or code herein. Okay, let's get started. In page layout, set the page size to four by six inches to match those FedEx labels. And then set the margins to zero all around. Insert a table two columns, six rows. Select the entire table by dragging it and then right click table properties. First the entire table. Set the options to set the margins all around to zero again and to get rid of auto resize. Moving on to rows you'll notice that rows one through six are automatically selected. We're going to specify the height at 0.99 inches exactly. Not one inch as you'd think because we want to leave a tiny bit of room at the bottom because otherwise we would get page overflow. Moving on to columns, click next column until you get to column two and then set its preferred width to one inch. Move on to column one and set its preferred width to three. In cells, set the options to get rid of text wrapping and then set the preferred width to three inches and the vertical text centering to centered. Click OK. With the first column still selected, drag the tab markers in the ruler to one quarter inch and two and three quarter inches to meet Amazon's side margin requirements. Looking at the bottom of the page, we have a small problem because there's an extra blank page after the table. That's because the paragraph mark, the enter, after the table takes up vertical space. Let's get rid of it. Place your cursor at the top of the blank page. In the Home tab of the ribbon, click the small arrow to the extreme right of the word Paragraph at the bottom of the Paragraph section. On the menu, set spacing after is zero, line spacing exactly at one. Press OK and the blank page is gone. What we've just done is to make the paragraph mark after the table only one point high. That's a 72nd of an inch which tucks nicely into the space that's left over because we made the labels only 0.99 inches high. Select the entire right column by dragging it. Right click merge cells to make the right column into one big cell. This is the section we'll enter data but it's not part of the labels you'll be cutting this off with a paper cutter. Select an 8-point font, type some instructions for future users of this template. Hit enter three times to leave a couple of blank lines and then enter and format a title for the data section below. Below that, press Control F9. That means you press the F9 key while you're holding down the Control key to insert a word field code and then type in the fill-in as 
shown with exactly one space after fill in and double quotes around the prompt. Press the end key, then space and enter. This trailing space will make it easier in the next step to select only what we typed without Word automatically selecting the entry key paragraph mark after it. Carefully drag the cursor from the opening to the curly brace. Select Insert on the ribbon menu, Links, Bookmark. And type ASIN into the top line, press Add. Do the same things for description and condition. What we're doing is create three fields which will prompt the user to enter the three things that must be on an FBA label when they're refreshed. Also, we put each of those fields inside of a bookmark, which is a way to give names to selected pieces of a document. We will pull in those pieces by name from within the labels, but we'll only have to enter the information once and let Word copy it to all six labels. Let's see how filling in the fields will work. Like the reminders we typed in earlier say, press Control A, then the F9 key. Answer each pop-up with some data. An ASIN, 10 characters exactly, only numbers and letters. The product description, if it's more than 50 characters, Amazon likes to abbreviate it with an ellipsis as shown, and either new or used. Now for the first label. Place the cursor in the first row of the leftmost column. On the mailings tab, click on merge barcodes. Note that on merge barcodes isn't a standard part of Word. It's a commercial add-in product you can get a free trial copy at the address shown on the screen. In the On Merge pop-up on the Barcode Setup tab, set the barcode type as Amazon ASIN. The barcode width 2 inches, 2 inches is what's left over after we take a 2.5 inch label and subtract off 2 quarter inch margins. Barcode height is 0.4, which is what we found out after some experimenting left right margins are zero, top margin zero, and you set the font to an eight point aerial. On the data tab, on the first line under type of data part, pick bookmark from the drop down list. Just to the right of that, pick ASIN from the drop down list. A barcode of your ASIN will appear. Press OK. Click on the barcode and then press the end key. Press Enter. On the next line, Press Control F9, then text as shown. Note there's a space between ref, description in double quotes, backslant, and char format. Press the end key, press enter. On the next line, do the same thing again, but this time with condition. Do not press enter. Select the barcode and the two lines of text by dragging the cursor over them in the home tab of the ribbon menu click the small arrow to the extreme right of the word font at the bottom of the font section. On the pop-up select a sans style font such as Arial or Calibri regular weight set it to 10 points. On the advanced tab set scale equals 80 percent and enable kerning for type above 8 points. Press OK. Make sure the barcode and the two lines are still selected. In the Home tab of the ribbon again, click the small arrow to the extreme right of the word paragraph, the bottom of the paragraph section. On the pop-up, set spacing after equals zero and line spacing is single. Press OK. Select only the two lines of text. Click the small paragraph arrow again, then set line spacing is equals exactly and at 10 points. Now, the barcode has data, but let's populate the description and condition so we can see some results. Press Control a f 9 Just press OK for each of the pop-ups since you've already filled them in. Your first barcode label is ready. To copy the label to the other five rows, first prepare the other five cells by dragging with your cursor. Click the small paragraph arrow again and then set line spacing equals exactly at 10 points. Select all text and the barcode in the first cell by dragging them with the cursor. Then right click and select copy. Put the cursor in the row below then click on the paste button in the ribbon menu. Repeat for the other rows. 
This is looking a lot like the real thing, let's, but let's fix up the lines between the rows so they're less prominent. Right click in a blank area of the table, then select Table Properties. In the pop-up, select the Table tab. Press the Borders and Shading button. Under Style, pick the Fine Dotted Pattern, which is the second one on the list, and pick one quarter point width. Under Preview, remove all but the horizontal borders by clicking on all the blue buttons except for the middle one in the group of three on the left. Make sure that Apply To is Table. Click OK. You'll see dotted lines for the borders, but they won't show up on the final print. The layout's done, so save your work. Now, when it comes to printing, print directly to your printer, not PDF or New Document to generate barcodes that have the correct resolution for your printer. You can ask to print as many copies of the page as you like. That's the total number of small labels divided by six per page. When printing, some printer drivers may warn about paper margins. Ignore them, click yes to print. Stack the sheets and cut in a paper cutter. A binder clip is useful for preventing stacked labels from creeping during cutting. The template is 4 inches wide, but the labels are only 2.5 inches wide. We don't want to print the notes in the right column, and we cut the right edge off the page. Now, some important notes. When rolling out any new technology, it's always best to first roll out a small batch of labels and see if there's a problem on Amazon's end. Once that's okay, it's safer to roll out larger quantities. Don't assume a barcode is okay just because your smartphone can scan it. High-speed industrial barcode scanners are sometimes picky about quality. You must, if you must generate a PDF or Word document for printing elsewhere, you must set resolution accurately in barcode's resolution setting to ensure barcodes will scan. Resolution depends on the exact printer model, so you'll have to look it up. However, it's always best to use the automatic resolution, since you may use a different printer one day and forget all about resolution. For on merge barcodes, you must double click on each barcode and enter the number under resolution. For Zebra 2844, it's 203. When you need new data or a new product, press Ctrl A, F9 and fill in the dialog boxes as before. You can refill in the data every time you want to make different labels. Otherwise, you can save as the template under various names after filling it in to save labor when you print more labels.